Hi, this is Mike Palmer with Group One Trading, and this is the Investitute Volatility Sonar Report. Uh, today is Friday. We've already had our big news of the week, uh, that being the Fed announcement on Wednesday. We had a settlement earlier that morning of 1492. Now, let's just remember about a week ago, we actually had quite a bit of movement in the markets. We saw the, uh, the VIX index in the 18s, and definitely a lot of uncertainty going into the weekend. Here we are after a few rallies, a VIX print of 1492, which was definitely lower than people expected because it went out Tuesday night around 16. Uh, and since then, we've seen the VIX pull all the way back to the low 12s um, related to the fact that they did not raise rates on Wednesday at the FOMC decision. So with volatility down, people look at the upside as a lot cheaper. What we wound up seeing recently is big buyers of the October 22 calls. Uh, they bought over 100,000 of those between 45 and 53 cents. They did that in chunks, but nonetheless, they relentlessly bought them since Wednesday afternoon. And uh, we also saw big buyers of the 1721 one by two call spread. That means that they were selling the 17 calls in October and buying two of the 22 calls, uh, excuse me, the 21 calls. Uh, today, they paid a nickel for that. Yesterday, they were paying four cents for that. Uh, they did 15,000 by 30,000 today, but there's a good chance that, that they are not done. That is them buying upside uh, in the VIX. That's really all you got to know is that they were buying 22s uh, earlier this week. Now they're buying the 21s through the one by two. These options are all trading under a dollar. They're between 50 and 60 cents. And that is big protection should we see a big pop in the VIX over uh, really about 27. But it actually provides some protection even before then because you'd really see a, a vol pop. So, Contango has gotten steeper because we've seen futures come in so much, the VIX index all the way down to 12. There still is some buyers of VIX options in the market, especially in that upside in October. Uh, and that's what we're seeing uh, in the VIX options market. Now, in side news, the big news overnight is that the SIBO is uh, in talks to purchase the BATS exchange. Uh, the BATS exchange has two options exchange, a stock exchange. They have a big presence in Europe, uh, which the SIBO does not have. They have uh, an ETF business, an FX business, you name it. Definitely a lot of synergies cost-wise and otherwise for the SIBO. Pretty savvy move. Uh, so that's uh, the interesting news in our front because the VIX is a SIBO-based index. Uh, anything happening with the exchange itself is definitely a big interest to the guys here on the floor. Uh, so that's what's going on here in the VIX. This is uh, Mike Palmer with Group One Trading, and this is the Investitute Volatility Sonar Report.